Okay, so it's uh, 10 a.m. Pacific and Arizona time, uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, just a little bit of, about Dolphin and their history. Um, we're privately held. We've been in business since 1986. Um, we primarily serve uh, people who are blind or have a visual impairment, but we also um, have products for people with other print disabilities. Um, as our friend Tracy, who joined us, uh, she works with students with learning disabilities, so some of our apps are appropriate for um, persons with dyslexia and uh, those types of specified learning disabilities. We're an international company, we're global. We've um, translated our software into 30 languages and you know more all the time. Um, and our products are designed and tested and supported by people with visual impairments. So uh, we are your presenters. Uh, let Steve introduce himself, he's my boss. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, thank you, MJ, a, a, a boss only in name, I think. Um, yes, so I'm Steve Bennett, I'm based here in the UK. You can, perhaps you might tell by my accent, it's a little bit of East Boston. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so um, I'm Mary Jo, MJ, if you've met me before, and I'm the marketing manager here in the US for Dolphin Products. Um, so a little bit uh, about Guide Connect. We're, we're super excited to launch this and we've had a ton of interest. Um, and I think Guide Connect is, is a product that's just a simple set of menus that enable people to do the most common computing tasks. That was our aim and I think we've achieved that. Um, we, we talk about it as being a digital assistant um, it helps people stay connected to, you know, like I said, most of the common things that they um, need to connect to in life on the computer, emailing people and uh, writing letters and going to their uh, websites, their favorite websites, whether they're doing banking or social media. Um, and then, of course, entertainment. Who is it for? Um, probably anyone that uh you work with or um serve or whether that's you yourself that finds uh using assistive technology and the windows desktop too difficult you know opening applications and so on um people who are partially sighted um or blind users and i think anyone with um, mild cognitive limitations actually mild to moderate uh, and then those um, aging folks who are apprehensive of technology, again, they get confused by those desktop applications. Um, I think Guide Connect is perfect for all of those people. Um, who it's not for are people that need to use specific programs um, and applications like spreadsheets and databases, Excel, um, you know, their, their work databases. So that's who it's not for. So today our goal is to achieve these learning outcomes, teach you how Guide Connect is available in um, different types of, of computing equipment, what's most comfortable for the user, uh, how it can be controlled through different access methods like touch screens and keyboards and mouses and even a remote control, um, and then how to do the specific tasks uh, that are the menu items in Guide Connect, like accessing your email and entertainment and the internet. Uh, and then how, how to navigate the menus, which you'll find are exactly the same. They're very straightforward. You'll learn one, you'll learn them all. And then at the end, of course, to answer any questions. If you do have questions and you're afraid you might Forget about them, um, you know, waiting till the end. Please feel free to send us a chat and uh, if we can answer it right then, we, we certainly will. So um, Guide Connect is super flexible in that people can choose whatever technology they're most comfortable with. So if, if a person has a laptop or a desktop PC, um, you might think, okay, well, a touch screen isn't for someone with a visual impairment, but we're going to show you how it is 
and how well it's working. And then um, with a, a remote control and a little box that you know connects their TV and essentially makes their TV a computer. So um, flex flexible access that we talked about, uh, you can input text when needed via any QWERTY keyboard, whether it's USB or wireless. Um, our high contrast uh, mouse functions, meaning we can use the touch screen and our, and our uh, buttons are static on either side and we have um, the ability to adjust the size to whatever your visual needs are. Um, I just talked about the buttons in the last one. Sorry about that. Got a little ahead of myself. And then finally, the remote control. And I think this is just amazing. Wait till you see it. You can talk to it. Um, and so now I'll just hand this over to Steve. I'm going to stop sharing and make Steve our, if I can find him, the host. OK. There we go. Okay, super. Thank you, MJ. So what I'm going to do is I've got a camera sat over a, a PC on my desk here, so I'm just going to swap to that. So um, it's uh, going to be easier than to do something like screen sharing because you'd be able to see me pressing the buttons uh, and my fingers, what I'm doing on this touch screen as well. Uh, so when Guide Connect starts, uh, you get uh, the first thing you'll have is a getting started wizard. And there are three wizards. Uh, one is to use uh, the remotes, which MJ mentioned. So I've got one here. I'll describe that more shortly. The other one would be to use the keyboard if you want to use it with the keyboard. Uh, and the third one would be to use the touch screen interface. So that will come on. So you can skip those. Uh, you can go back to them at any time. And you can also see that we have some training on shortcut keys and a small typing tutor to help people as well. Um, which I'm just going to press escape and then go main menu. Um, into the main menu. And I'll just reduce that a little bit. One of ten. Zoom level two. Okay, so let's look at the first up. So we have uh, a number of different icons denoting the different features. Uh, and if that uh, text or those are too small for me, then I move my fingers apart and they get larger. Level four. Uh, and then I can move them apart again. Level five. Skipped over one just there. So, level five. oops, go back again. Okay. Level five. Oops, sorry. Zoom level four. There we go. And then I can go into tiles and then I can Zoom go bigger five. from tiles. Zoom and if level seven. And I can go right up to zoom level eight. Uh, to eight. So um, what we're doing here is is you're finding the style that suits the individual site or, or their preferences. And then what you can do is you can lock zoom it so five. it stays at that level. Okay, so let's take it right zoom back down. Three. So we can take that. Zoom level two. Now we don't have to just do that with your fingers. If you've got a touch screen, then you can press F11 and F12. Zoom level one. Zoom level two. Or you can press the key There's on the zoom on the remote. We've got a plus three. and a zoom minus, and it obviously gives those size. So uh, when you find the right level for the user, you can lock it. So if they do touch the screen, then um, it won't change if they um, do that thing of uh, holding the screen with one thumb and then moving it with something with a finger when it thinks it's enlarging it. So we've got these nice tiles there, and I can navigate them by pressing the down key. Documents, websites. Uh, so um, MJ just mentioned there that um, all of the interfaces are exactly the same. So I'm going to show a couple here uh, and what we'll do is um, we'll see that they are the same and how um, it makes it much easier to use. There is a th another option and that's the mouse. So we've got this large mouse and you can change the size of this or you can change the color and I've got a little bit of opacity on it here so I'm seeing the text through the mouse. You can change that to uh, being uh, less or more opaque. Uh, if you wish as well. The different sizes, different colors available. Um, so the remotes are here. Um, so this particular one is uh, the new remote that's coming available in a week or so. It's uh, an RF remote, it's got a little dongle on there, works well. Um, so we've got the navigation keys of up and down, uh, and then we've got the A key. Uh, we can change the, the uh, volume and we can change the size of the text. And we've got the speech input key here, which I'll come back to in a short time. Um, if the customer's not going to be interested in speech input, we've got this other one, which is a Bluetooth, which um, has the benefit of working some distance away if you've used the TV box and have a Bluetooth speaker. Um, they both do exactly the same, except this, the blue one does uh, speech input. Uh, 
So I'm going to press up and, emails, uh, and then enter. Tap email menu, four options, write new email, one of four. So right away, you can see that uh, Guide Connect um, announces where you are and announces um, how many elements are in that particular uh, section. So I'll just press uh, down, inbox, enter. To inbox, page one of two, 51 options, Steve Bennett, one of 51, PDF attached, July 23rd, 2019. Um, so it's read out that uh, there's an email, how many emails are in there, and it's also read that this one is attached, and it's unread, give me the date and everything for it. So I'll just come down one to the Steve this Bennett, one, enter. Two of 51. Hey, video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Um, so the text starts to read immediately, and I've just pressed enter to stop it. Um, but the first thing I would say with you is the text is quite small. Uh, well, so let's make it bigger. Uh, and as the text becomes bigger, Zoom then you'll see 10. it's word wrapping. Zoom level 10. Okay, and Zoom you can change 10. the size Zoom if you wish. 10. Okay, and my fingers are just getting a little bit slippy, so I've changed that. Um, so you can change the size of the text here. If you wanted to change the size of the text to everywhere being that, you do it in the main menu. If you change the magnification level in any one menu, it will just be that menu that works like that. Um, so I'm going to go arrow down yeah, one item at a time, go back up one item, on I'm going to press uh, F5 and it will start to read the text. Left control stops it. So we've got this new concept uh, in Guide, if you're familiar with the uh, previous version, is the A button or the F2 and there's an action menu. So if I were to press that now. Actions, 10 options, check for new email, one of 10. So um, the previous version of Guide, you would have to have gone uh, quit the email, then it offered you another uh, menu, then another menu, and it's sort of vertically cascaded down. What we try to do is keep this at two levels. Uh, so here I have now relevant stuff to this particular email, so I can uh, uh, reply, reply all forward, add it to the center to my address book, move it to a folder. If there are attachments, delete, print, and I can find some details about it. So the action menu or the A button is announced if it exists when you open that window, and of course it's pertinent to that window. So you've got different actions in different windows. Now I want to go back to where hence I came. So if I press the uh, escape key or the back button on here, back, back, Inbox, pick back, email menu, back, menu, that's it. We've now learned the guide navigation system. And that's the big thing I notice when I'm training people or demonstrating is that I show one module and everything works the same. So people are already looking at other things before I get there. And I would say that was the big difference between uh, this software and something like an iPad, which has uh, maybe 10 different um, uh, apps. They all have a different interface. Same with uh, Windows uh, and most other platforms as well. So uh, we looked at emails, let's go and have a look at radio. So I can press the first letter of it, which is E for entertainment, where radio is. Or in fact, the numbers still work in this, if you're familiar with old guide. Um, so I can see it's the seventh tile on there, so I'll press seven. Two options, radio, one of two. So let's pop in there. Radio stations, three options, continue playing 100 FM the pike, one of three. Let's just pop over to play a new station. Play a new station. Radio station reaches 52 options. Massachusetts, one of 52. And I'll press C California, for California. 19 of 50 Enter. Radio stations. So there are something like two and a half thousand radio stations available in here. It uses the iHeart service. Um, so I think most are covered in here. Um, but what I'll do is just come, come down randomly to the wolf, enter. Okay. Okay, you may only notice there we duck the audio when the guy connect is speaking. If there's a the radios on and you'll see the same in podcasts and audio books that will come to shortly as well um so um do i want to have to do that to get to that station again the next time well no so let's, let's randomly just go back to it if i shall uh, c hey, for play enter c for california, california. Radio okay. station. 
Let's press the A button. Actions. Let's add it to our favorites. Skype connect. Okay. Okay, and now we can come back out of that. And, uh, go to favorites. And we can see it's listed in our favorite stations there. So beautiful, clear internet radio coming through. Um, good speakers on most PCs. If, it's, if you're using your TV as the, uh, the visual element, then you get beautiful speakers off there as well. Another good example, back, radio state, back, podcasts. Podcasts, podcasts, four options. So here we can download podcasts or you can stream them in depending on your preference. So if I go to play a new state podcast, so download, play a new po podcast. 16 items. So we've got a number of different elements in here. So uh, I'll come down a few to something like Ricky, Siri, Siri, the naked, this American life. Yeah, that's American this life. American life episodes. And let's items. have a look at uh, mistakes we made. Playing this American life. Press center to pause. Comes from Audible, the great sidekick for summer activity. I want to go forward. forward. Press the right button. Forward. Goes forward. Back, Left. Back, goes back. back. Seven minutes. Six pause. This Stop. American life. Press center to play. Start. So many scientific advances begin with amateur. Pause. This American life. This American life. Okay. F two. Hold the A button. I'm going to download it. Okay. So I don't have to be online. So I can listen to it at any time. So it's now downloading. Podcast. Go back. Podcast. Downloaded. Go into my downloaded podcast. There it is. Okay, it's available for now. So if I press enter. Blind bargains audio. Press enter to pause. It's blind. Pause blind bargains audio. My downloaded podcast. This American. There it is. Playing this American live. Press enter to pause. Great sidekick for summer activity. Okay. All right. I think we got the idea there. So that was nice and easy. Um, one of the features that I like the most is the uh, books and news one. So I'm quickly going to press uh, B for books. Books and news. And enter there. Books and news. Three options. Continue reading Chicago. And I'll just pop into books. Books. Find a new book. Online library. And I'm going to go to the NLS Bard. NLS Bard. No, I previously put my username and my password into a box that comes up when I first do this. And having done that, what it does is it goes and fixes my book key from NLS Bard. Um, so that means that I can download books and I can play them in Guide Connect. All right. So there's no need to worry you've got to transfer them onto something. Again, you can use the beautiful audio that comes with uh, many of these PCs and TVs. So. Um, what we're actually in now is the web page. So it's actually shown in Guide Connect as a much simpler system. So if I come down to popular books, four of seven. here we go. Uh, and then the web page will show as a list. Just wait for it to come in. Search results, 11 options. Uh, so let's have a look, come down randomly to uh, someone else by Lisa Scottline. Enter. Download book options. One option. So dead easy. If I click on download, it will download now. If I want to know more about the book, if I press A. Actions. Description. Heading home for the funeral. Level. I'll just stop it. Um, here's the information. A little synopsis of the book. How long the book is for. Um, who the narrator of the book is, which people are interested in, and there's some uh, some other useful facts in there. Escape. Download book options. Escape. Search results. Escape. And the less barred. Back Seven into options, the reader, books, and if I go to my options, books that I have books, downloaded, options, okay, let's go to the one that's audio, an, an audio book. Enter. Forward to one hour, sixteen minutes, thirty-seven seconds. Enter. That he could push to make it go away. Okay, and yes, you can go forward and you can go back, forward, and that's an audio book. And if I go back from there books, and open David, David Copperfield, Copperfield to a four. Which is a textbook. Please wait. Here it comes. Loading. Please wait. Press enter to play or pause. Um, so now we can change the size of the text that we zoom want to level, read. Zoom level, zoom level 11. And it will be read with the, the voice of Guy Connect to read it out. Um, so why would I listen to David Copperfield with a, a voice like this? Um, not actually that useful, I, I will be honest, but there is somewhere where it is useful to, to use the TTS, and that's in newspapers, and I'll quickly show you that. 
my so books, back, books, back, books and books, newspapers. My newspapers and magazines. So I've subscribed to um, uh, Bookshare periodicals, but if you use NFB Newsline, it's exactly the same. And what I've done is I've told it, please, um, every well, day, please go and fetch the uh, Chicago Tribune, and, and when the Time magazine is available, fetch me that. So if I press enter, Select edition, six auction. here's today's Chicago uh, Tribune. So I'll, um, I'll just have a look at it. Press enter to play or pause. Okay, and I actually previously downloaded it, and I know it's actually in the obituaries, so that's not what I want to look at the moment. So if I press A, Headings. go to Two, here. Oh, I'm really interested in the news. And let's have a look. Both Britain and America are suffering political nervous breakdowns. Press OK or tap the script. Certainly true. This side of the Atlantic, I would say. So randomly picked. It's something, uh, something trying to tell me something there. So yes, I can read Both it. Britain and America are suffering political. So what was the benefit of that? I've downloaded the daily newspaper. I didn't have to read it from the top to the bottom. I've got the text to size that suits me if I wanted to read it like that or I can just get to the elements of that newspaper that, that interest me without having to do anything else. Really easy. Uh, the only keys I used was enter, up, down, uh, and escape when I, when I wanted to come away from it. So, so simple. So um, everyone's gonna say, but does it work on the web? So I think the proof's in the, uh, the pudding is in the eating, so let's go and have a look. So if I escape, edition, escape. Six options. My newspaper, my news, books and new main menu. And let's go to web number options, three. Websites menu. Home Goes to the home page. Two or five. Hit search. Um, so I've got an on-screen keyboard here, so I can use that, and that colour can change depending on the colour settings that you've used. Um, but all I'm going to do is just roughly type in dolphin. P A N. Okay, uh, and then I'll press enter. Navigation mode. Page loaded. Don't search the results. Heading one. Okay, so what we notice there is, is we highlight, and yes, you can change the size of the text. Yes, you can strip out the pictures, and yes, you can put a color setting in here if you wish as well. Um, but it jumped over the links at the top of the Google um, search page, and it got straight to what I call the snippet, which is where the information is. So you can literally uh, press uh, cursor when down and be straight in there. If you do know the uh, the whole alphabet of navigation keys, H for heading, E for edit areas, P for paragraphs, T for text, L for lit, they're all in there. Um, so that it's all available. I promised to show you the speech input, so I think this is a perfect time. So obviously you're gonna have to need, need an internet connection at this point, but let's do a couple of searches. So I'm gonna press the button that's available here, okay? Um, on the remote, or I could click on this button at the top and it's announced when it's available, um, or you can press F6 to do exactly the same thing if you're using the microphone of the PC. Um, so let's try it. What's the name of Barack Obama's wife? Page loaded. What's the name of Barack Obama's wife? Google search the results. Heading one. So it's recognized the text, it's put it straight into the search, uh, and then it's available there, and I can see that I'm straight into that location. So that was a fluke. I know I hear you saying, let's try something else. Who was Tom Brady? Page loaded. Who is Tom Brady? Google search, search the results. Heading one. So you don't have to be in the Google page to do this. You can do it at any point. So you could be in the in your favorite CNN site or uh, you could be on the local radio site, whatever you want to be. It does a Google search when you actually pop this in. Now I want to go back to where I came. So let's just press A. Actions menu, turn up. Okay, so you can go back a page. You can search this website. If you want a list of the links or the headings, they're all available here. And I want to get back to this quickly so I can add it to my favorites or I can make it my home page. They're all available to do there as well. Text just doesn't happen on the web. So there's a little bit uh, more to show you in letters. So I'll go there now. Websites, main, main menu, letters and doc documents. My docu new document, new document. Um, so if this is an email, if this is a new document, if this is a letter, then you can dictate one sentence at a time. 
Um, you do need to have an internet connection because we are looking at some stuff, web resources to do this. It's not Dragon, it's the resources of Guide Connect and the Windows device itself. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Um, so the sentence is announced back to you. Uh, and what you do is you press the F6 or the speech button again. So if I do that. It is a far better thing I do now than I have ever done before, period. It is a far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. So I'm afraid I've exhausted my Shakespearean quotes there, so I've got nothing else to do there, but um, you've got the idea. Wherever you are, you can input one sentence at a time. Um, if it does get a word wrong, of course, you're only one sentence away from correcting it and it will be able to speak that. Um, and review, yes, you do get a noise to tell you you've got the spell checker, the spell, in, uh, sorry, there's a spelling error in there as well. Okay, I'm just going to hand back to escape and then I'm going to go back to escape and we're back at the main menu. Um, the last thing to say is there are no settings in the okay, hold on, Steve, hold on. Um, you lost host status. Let me give it to you again. Sorry. Okay. Just happened. Okay. There you go. Yep. Okay, so the last thing to say is there are no settings in the individual modules. What we've done is we put them all in settings. So if I look Set in here, settings. if I wanted to change the appearance, I want to change the camera, I want my email settings, um, I want to change my letters, my address book, uh, the way that I use letters, they're all available. Here's mouse pointers. Mouse, mouse pointer. Okay. For large mouse pointer. Oh, mouse no. pointer, shoot, mouse pointer, mouse setting, back, back. Menu. Uh, taking that approach, which is the Apple approach, seemed to make much more sense. It means that the modules have less, um, less cho choice and they're only there for the features themselves. So, thank you. I'll just hand back to MJ. So, if you could be a host again, MJ, please. Okay. Hostess with the mostest. Hostess. Let me just share my screen again. And we'll move past this. So um, now is a great time to send your questions over. You can use your chat box if you saw anything that you didn't understand or if you just want to ask a general question, go ahead and type that now. Um, and let me also, yeah, okay. I'm just going to wait one sec. Or I can keep going and then answer questions at the end if no one has any questions. So um, just want to recap the benefits uh, or what we think are the benefits. Maybe you see some more that we haven't uh, mentioned, but uh, one of the main things is being able to control everything with four keystrokes, whether you're touching the touch screen, you're using the remote, using the arrow keys on your computer. I mean, you're basically, going to wear four keys out. Um, again, we, we kind of uh, went over this a few times, um, but those step-by-step -step menus um, are very straightforward. Uh, if you ever get lost, um, you're getting auditory feedback so that you can find out where you are, and help is always only a click away. Uh, every menu, every feature has the exact same interface, so learn one, learn them all. You've heard the voices and, you know, voice, voices are pretty good these days. Um, so we're, we're right up there. Making text as big as you need it. Uh, we go very high contrast um, at our largest magnification and the magnification is crystal clear. So uh, last but certainly not least, the benefits are, you know, your ability to stay connected or your client's ability to stay connected by sending emails and documents, either with a keyboard or, or through voice input. Um, getting to the web pages very easily. Again, you can use that voice command if um, typing and keyboarding is a struggle. Um, we didn't really go over the scan and read today, but you can scan and um, read mail, your paper mail. So, um, you know, using just a simple elbow camera. Uh, keep yourself organized through the address book and your calendar. And then most importantly, or maybe not, but entertain yourself. Um, 
unlimited books. You know, we one click connect to all of the biggest book and news repositories. Um, especially, you know, Steve talked a little bit about the newspapers and magazines. I mean, they're delivered right to you on their circulation schedules. So you never have to go out to the mailbox and get anything or get those books on tapes. You can just download as many as you like and, and even listen to them offline. Um, okay, I don't see any questions here. Um, so I'll just wrap it up with um, letting you know that you can download Guide Connect free for 30 days. I'm gonna send you a follow-up link with um, a link to the download um, and also um, a link to the session recording of this webinar so that you can go back and listen to it if you got pulled away for any reason. And finally, um, how you can purchase Guide Connect here in the US. Uh, we do sell through distributors, so you can go through IRE AT. I mean, you can buy direct from us online. Um, but you're supported by our dealer, Irie AT, and then Evas, who um, customarily works with uh, the Veterans Administration. They work very closely, and um, so they can navigate, you know, purchases through the VA and so on. Uh, okay, so I don't, still don't see any questions, so I'm just going to assume we did an amazing job, and um, I just want to thank you for your time. Um, 30 minutes I know can be hectic even with your busy schedule so if you have any questions our emails will be there in the follow-up email and fee feel free to contact us anytime anything Steve before we hang up no just to thank everybody for their time I really appreciate them yeah all right so long have a great weekend guys bye okay take care